Have some respect, Brian. I have a lot of respect there. <laughs> have I? some respect. <laughs> I'll have some respect. Hey guys, welcome to another Periscope Live. I'm Maria Cia. Brian brought us. Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. It's time to talk some football and some playoffs. Wow, all right. We don't need to worry about this depth chart for the <laughs> Giants. I don't know why Brian brought that stuff in here for, but... <laughs> Who'd you break down today on the Giants? <laughs> Some guys. Yeah, some guys. Guys. there you go. Some guys. There you go. Hola, hola, hola. Uh, so yeah, we'll you know the drill. We're we're gonna get to some of y'all's questions, and then uh, if you want to talk giants, we can playoffs, whatever. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you guys want to do. Um, hopefully, he doesn't get into a fight with somebody. Let's try to keep the professionalism, Brian. <laughs> Let's keep it professional here. Mm -hmm. Be a professional. So. <laughs> Let's start off. Let's start off with playoffs. Now, obviously, Cowboys are in. Yes, playoffs. They are in. Yeah. They made it. They yeah. made it. Uh, did you expect that, Brian? Just at three and five? Not really. I was talking about firing Jason Garrett. <laughs> is really what I was thinking. I was thinking, okay, who was going to be the next coach, and yeah. what direction were they going to go? Didn't. So is that is that kind of behind us? The whole coaching. You, know, you know, I don't know that. Yeah. I, I, I feel like, though, that he, he won the division. Uh, he, you know, he won the division. He got in the playoffs. Let's see how they play. But I can't, yeah, the jury, I, I agree with that there, Fly. Uh, the jury's out on the OC. Absolutely. But, yeah, I, I, I kind of I can't, I can't fire the coach if he wins the division, you know? And I think that's going to be really hard for Jerry Jones to do. Now, if you go and you lay a big egg, you know, with on uh, against the Seahawks. Wait, how big does the, the egg? The, yeah, yeah. Ostrich how big egg. does the How about an ostrich egg? egg? An ostrich. Yeah, how about an ostrich egg? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if yeah. he if he lays an ostrich egg. Yeah. 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 Then what? Then I think that I think that you have to consider <laughs> you have to consider maybe making a change. But me personally, when it was three and five, I thought it was over. I really did. I thought yeah. it was done. I didn't think this team was gonna. Bounce back the way they did, but to his credit, uh, they won enough games, won the division, and they won the they won it with games to spare, like a game to spare. So now they can rest some guys for this game. So, yeah, yeah. I was surprised. And one of the things uh, when you hear certain players talk um, after a game or in the locker room, they'll kind of throw their jab at like the media oh, as yeah. far as like you know you guys didn't I'm, have faith in us. I'm and, looking at, yeah. But to the defense, I don't think many did based on the way they were playing. How inconsistent it, they were yeah. being and it's still that way it they gotten better obviously they're winning games but at the same time as far as the offense goes there's still a lot of a lot inconsistencies, of questions yes. a lot of questions yes. there yes. it has improved amari getting here has yeah. made a big change obviously zeke keeps running the ball um <laughs> they're right thank you I'm, i've hydrated well this morning it was rough man he walked in here and he's like not good. Why are we working today? <laughs> we need we an extra today? day off. We need an extra day. Yeah. <laughs> but you look better. You, Thank you. Appreciate you pulled it. yourself together somehow. I, I'm a professional. <laughs> You're a professional. Yeah, um, but, but finish your point. You're making no, but, it, yeah. but the O line improvement there is the yeah. defense is carrying the whole team. No question. Amazing the job they've been able yeah. to do and the conversion that has happened in the defense compared yeah. to previous years and Absolutely. what's going on there. Yeah. So a lot of good things. Now, we know the game against the Giants does not matter. Cowboys are in. They don't have anything to win or lose. Well, they could win some things as far as, you know, the getting win, yeah, yeah. little well, title awards, and yeah, then changing yeah. their record, their yeah. final record, certain yeah. things. But uh, they don't have anything to lose, I should say. Uh, big question is, mm. who do they decide to play? Do they play Z? Rest or rest? You want to rest some guys? And then the key here, or the question here is, if you rest, the whole domino effect. Exactly. If you rest yeah. Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, then yeah. who else do you have to rest because yeah. of that? So we know Jason said we're going to play our guys. Healthy people are going to play, and right. they're going to give it their all right. in this game. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Scout here, Mr. Thank Brain, thank you. <laughs> what do you think? You're Scout too. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Who is going to play? Who are you expecting to sit out in this upcoming game? Okay, the way practice, so it's talking to some people about practice today, Ambar. The only things that were really different about practice today is they went more with a rotation 
of at running back. Mm-hmm. So that meant that, that was the, only, the main difference. The main there. difference, and then the offensive line was Fleming, was Suafilo, was Looney, was Williams and Collins, and they took all the reps. Mm-hmm. So there was no rotation there. You know, we'll see tomorrow how that rotation works. But the one position that rotated the most players was running back. Running back. And, then, and that's and, what, and, yeah, everybody's yeah. saying that. Is, they, I mean, and, and, Zeke has been... Yeah, oof. if I could follow up on one thing, they didn't give the backup quarterback any work. So let's see if the backup quarterback gets work tomorrow and on Friday. But as of today... Dak Prescott all took Dak. all Dak reps today. And then Cooper took all his reps. The receivers, Brown, Tavon Austin was a big player today, Amber, I heard. You know, and you've been talking about Tavon Full Austin. Full participation today. Well, yeah. So he did he did a he did a he did a really uh, a good job today from what I was talking to some people about him getting really involved. Uh, Jerry Jones came out this morning on 105.3, the fan or flagship station, and says, Hey, I'd like to see Tavon Austin play more. Mm-hmm. So that yeah if you remember and Ambar broke down a play for you on the Spanish side Tavon Austin had a big 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 catch for a touchdown against these guys Janoris Jenkins Ambar did a little breakdown for you uh, on that side yeah so, so it could be a really that. good be a comeback yeah. yeah good comeback yeah. Um, especially getting him into the rhythm the game rhythm a little right. bit before they right. head to into the playoffs which yeah. having him available it's going to it could be big if they figure out how to utilize yes. him. Yes. It could be really big on the offense, and they could really manage to do uh, some damage there and hopefully get into the red zone, uh, into the end zone, I mean. Sean Lee question? Sean Lee. So, questions about Sean Lee. Yeah. Uh, he was out with the hamstring injury. Then right. he came back in, into that game. Um, who were we playing? Well, he, he was a healthy scratch, so he... he Not this weekend, the Colts, past weekend. Colts. The, well, the, the Colts. Colts. Yeah. He, he played a few snaps, uh, nothing yeah. major, probably like 7, 8, something like that. Right. Came out again. Uh, nothing to do with the injury, though. Yeah, yeah, but no. throughout that week, he reappeared on the injury report as far as the hamstring thing goes as limited. He was limited, and then heading into last weekend, he did not play... They say he was a healthy scratch. A healthy scratch. I was told by I was told by the medical staff he was a healthy scratch. Now again, yeah. are you trying to read into something, or are you were you going? You no, know, I mean, okay. th- th- yeah. a lot of people no, no. are asking what's why? going on here, yeah. why, and and yeah. again, is this the end of Sean Lee yeah. playing here? You know, a lot of questions, especially when you see that he was healthy for the game, but they yeah. decided to sit him out. Right. And it was a game that you you were still Trying fighting for a playoff yeah, spot. True. So it's not like no, this weekend's game. You're not wrong. That you're doesn't not. matter. So what are what are you what are you gathering around yeah. this whole situation? No, that's a very good question because what's happening is Jason Garrett explained this to us. They had when when um, when when Anthony Brown got hurt the other day and the back spasms they were worried about having enough players like they needed the they 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 used Jordan Lewis on kickoff returns Mm -hmm. so they were worried about having enough players at cornerback but they're also worried about having the Jordan Lewis they were they were running thin at cornerback and so they were maybe having to play Xavier Woods at corner if they had another injury so with Sean Lee only available for say 12 to 15 plays Ambar it wasn't worth the risk. They would rather have a guy who they felt like could play and play special teams and play everything that they needed to play. That's why Sean Lee was a healthy scratch. But I was told, I was told, and, and, and the, the, the people who told me this said, listen, he is a healthy scratch. This has nothing to do with anything mm-hmm. that they've, that, that's reoccurred or anything. Now, okay, what, what we figured out now is that this team has gone forward and they're playing games and winning games without Sean Lee. And that's the reality of football right yeah. now. And they and you know it used to be a time and place where Sean Lee, you played a game without Sean Lee, you were going to lose. Yeah, adios. <laughs> adios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's why. And that's you know, but it's it's we might be seeing the we might be seeing the now maybe Sean Lee in a playoff game, but Hurdy got a little bit more work today. Let's see if in fact that he plays against the Giants. They might not chance it there. It's supposed to be snowy and cold. So bundle up, Ambar, when you go <laughs> oh, to the Meadowlands. No. But yeah, it, it, that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay, let's let's answer some questions here. Yeah, I'll do my best. Any idea why Dag didn't target Amari very much last game? Any way to scheme him open if he's double? He he was actually open in the game, and what what he what he did was Dak in that game 
Cole Beasley was so open, and I did a breakdown on DallasCowboys.com today that showing you uh, the routes that Cole Beasley, one of the routes he ran inside. Amari does a great job, Ambar, of getting everybody else open. Yeah. They're not, you know, he's not seeing any normal coverage. It's just that Dak is now Michael Gallup starting to make some plays. And I haven't seen him double with double no, coverage no, much. No, like you teams haven't, haven't and, been doing and that. You, and you've been and you sit up there in the press box and watch the whole field, and you can yeah. see that. And so you, it's a good view you got. And so yeah, it, it's it's not something that te- teams are taking away. It's just Amari Cooper is now. To helping other guys get open, and yeah. namely, namely, Cole Beasley's been running great routes. When Amari Cooper was busting loose, Cole Beasley was running some really good routes, and so now Dak Prescott finds Cole Beasley, you know, four, five, six times in this game, and it, it turns out to be pretty good. Getting everybody involved is not a bad thing. With yeah, this no, that, that's essentially what you want to do, yep. and especially with those guys that Dak has had some yeah. experience with, and success with it's right. good to see that happening there is Jackson yes yeah, he's gonna get abs- some work he, yeah. he should be getting plenty he will right? yeah, absolutely yep yeah. if you got you want to pick up you know Darius I mean, no, fantasy football is over I guess but yeah mm-hmm. Darius Jackson's gonna get some work uh did you see the David Irving one David Irving uh we don't know J- can Jerry I, can Jones I make, can, yeah can I make a prediction go ahead I, I you know and I know like we like we talk we know people and stuff I think they're gonna put David Irving on injured reserve myself I don't think I think that the, 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 the ankle did not heal like it. The rehab didn't work how like it needed to. And you think not, that's what it is? Yes. And I think it, I think it's such to do with off the field stuff. And I think it's it ha- and it's and it's a mixture of both things. And I think that we're running out of time with him. You're you're, you're running out of time. So David Irving, I, I don't think he's going to be. I, I that's just my opinion though. Just talking to some folks about some of the things that's happened, the yeah. rehab and all that things like that. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. So sad because. We know his talent. Yeah. He's very, very talented. Uh, da, 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 da. What was the question here? How about the one about climb the pocket? and don't Climb be the afraid. pocket floor. Don't be afraid to run. Okay. Now, the, if you climb the pocket, the front of the pocket has to be clean. And they've had a really big problem with that, Ambar, as you well know. You know, that's the thing about it is they've, where, where they, where Dak, it's not so much what happens up, uh, around the edges. It's what happens up the middle. And they just haven't been as good as they've needed yeah. to be. You know, they've they've got a banged up right guard who's playing the best he can on a bad knee. The center's a backup. The left guard is is limited. You know, Suofilo's been good. He hasn't been great, but they they're not as strong. I mean, without Frederick in the middle, they're just not as strong. And so that that limits Dak's the, ability to run. I, I don't think um, the confidence is there yet to where he can feel comfortable enough running up and doing that. Like it's. See, now I'm getting an argument with somebody. Oh God! No. <laughs> Here we go. No, One it's now. not really, but but it, it's it hasn't it hasn't opened up as much. That, that's I wish people could sit down with a Sam Bar and watch all the all 22 and see the problems that they have when you say, okay, go run, take off, run. You know, the escape for him is through the middle of the pocket. Through the Saints, they were able to kind of secure some things and get him there. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I, I just. You know. I think again, again, he's a good runner. I think there are opportunities to make that happen, sure. and obviously we've seen that. But there's a lot of different factors, a lot of different things going on at the time, and when you're there live, you, obviously it's easier for us to make that judgment when mm. we're up there or watching mm. it on TV versus him being there live. And the whole thing of, I think if he didn't have to hesitate so much or think so much. He would be able to do that, but he hasn't moved past that to where he feels confident enough yeah. to, okay, I'm going through this person. Oh, here's Beasley. Open. Okay, yeah. this. Or let me run and throw. So it's a lot of different things that I think he's dealing with mm-hmm. that it, it just, at the moment, he doesn't have the confidence to be doing that yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> Should I start seeking fantasy? Probably not. <laughs> I think it's over now. Yeah. Isn't fantasy football over? Yeah. Um, I saw a question about Tavon Austin and punt returns. Would you obviously want to play him there? Yeah, I'm going to check. They, they, did, they, did, they did punt today. They do punt return tomorrow. So I'm going to keep an eye on practice and see. Uh, it's right now, the the way it was working on the when they were practicing for punt was Cole Beasley was the one, Tavon Austin was the two. So we'll see if that's in fact it tomorrow that they switch and let Tavon. What about Jeb Sweep? Jet Sweep. Jet Sweep. Count on it. Count on it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, 
Guy agrees with me. He's got the all twenty-two. To see if the advantage I have for you is I have the co I have the coach's tape. All twenty-two is great. I mean, I appreciate. I'm really proud of you for watching that. But when you sit down and watch that end zone copy that the coaches get, and you can kind of see those gaps not be as open as maybe the all twenty-two has. So that's just me. Terrence Williams. Ah. Uh. No, Terrence Williams is done. Probably eh. his career's done for the done for the Cowboys. So. Yeah, so. Uh, not happening. Especially with all the wide receivers they got themselves. Wild card now. player to look forward in the playoff. Who do you got? That's a good question right there. Let's talk some playoffs. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we've discussed some things. Now let's move into the playoff picture. Now there are two possibilities uh, of opponents coming up. The Vikings, so Minnesota, and Seattle. And Philadelphia's in, involved here. But what's going to happen is that Chicago, I don't think Dallas, Dallas is locked into the four seed. So if you're locked into the four, you're going to play the five. Right now, the five seed is the Seattle Seahawks. And I think the Seattle Seahawks are, that's who your opponent's likely going to be. Now, we were talking about a scenario today where if you were the, if, if you want to be really, really confident Cowboy Homer fan, if you want to be that guy or gal, then you get Philadelphia at the six. Philadelphia goes and beats Chicago at the three, right? Then you take care of Seattle. So now that means you would go play the Rams and the Eagles, say say the Eagles get in. Say the Vikings don't get it. They may, okay, say it's, say it's the yeah. Eagles. Say the Eagles get in. The, then now the, the Eagles go and play, the Eagles would go and play the Bears, beat the Bears. You beat the uh, Seahawks. Now you go to the Rams and they go to New Orleans. Now, somehow, some way, you get an upset of both. You know, you beat the Rams, and they beat. That's how the NFC Championship game is here. So the NFC Championship game, the only possibility is it really is if the Six has got to win. But Philadelphia has probably got the best chance to knock. Now they got crushed. They got crushed by New Orleans in New Orleans. But they're they're, they're a different team right now. That's a different different team going on right there. So mm -hmm. if you want the NFC Championship game to potentially be here. You're going to need six seed to start knocking some people off, and it happens in the NFL. I mean, okay, that, that, the f first game, first game of the playoffs for the Cowboys. Who likely, you, likely the Seahawks. Who? Uh, okay, likely the Seahawks. Out of right. those two teams, who would you like them to play against? Who would it be the? I I would uh, best of, matchup of, of, of the one versus the, of the one and the two. Yeah. I want nothing to go in with New Orleans. I don't want to go to New Orleans right now. I'll take my chances going to L.A. and playing against that team. I think they're kind of on a little bit of a little slide right now. I talked to Sean Payton after our game. He would love I talked to Sean Payton. Well, I'm just <laughs> – he's a friend. And Brian likes to pull in his – No. I talked to Sean Payton. <laughs> Go ahead with the Sean Payton. Sean Payton is excited for you to come play in the Dome. I'm just telling you that, okay? He's, he's excited to see you, Ambar, at the Dome if you want to show up for that. I'm good. Yeah. I don't need to go there. Yeah, I've been there. You're in there? All right. But, yeah. But, no, Sean, Sean would be very excited to see you guys at the Dome. He would. Do you see a benefit for hurry up offense against Seattle defense? Yeah, they like to shut. They like to shuttle uh, people on and off the field. They play like the Cowboys, a lot of rotation. That's what teams, you know. At, to me, that's not a bad idea. Try and keep the personnel out there. Uh, you know, the, the, yeah. the, the, I think the really good thing about this, uh, generally, Rod Marinelli has a really good plan when he plays against Russell Wilson. He generally has a really good plan and. You know, I mean, the, the, the game and the, the, the game they lost in Seattle, though, offensively, you were just bad in that game. Yeah. They couldn't get anything going. So Very different offense now. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they still have their struggles. And I see people asking um, if the Cowboys can beat Seattle. Sure of course, can. they can, sure for sure. Can. But sure you can. to me, I've never liked Seattle as far as, far as the defense goes. They usually have a pretty good defense. To me, and, and just yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, aggressive, yeah. and it, they play aggressive. So yeah. um, it even, but they had Earl Thomas the last time. Earl Thomas had two huge turnovers yeah. in that game, yeah. and they're playing well. But I, I'm, I'll take my chances playing Seattle at home, and I'll take my chances if somehow you can get a game and you have to go play in a play uh, at, at at the Rams. I'll take my chances against the Rams. I really will. I, I think there's. I think there's something about the Rams that you can you can find ways to move the ball on them. Yeah. 
And but it's a matter, you know, you're going to need a game plan like you had against the, the Saints. You're going to have to cover on the outside. Them not having Cooper Cup at wide receiver, I think, has hurt the Rams. I really do. I really do. Rams don't have a defense. Colin Colin Cowherd picked us to beat the uh, Hawks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, do you think no. the Stars of the yeah. we've talked about that at the beginning, but uh yeah, just keep no, an eye on I, what happens. Yeah, I, I think keep later an eye on the, the, week. the only the only the only thing that I saw or heard about today at practice was a big rotation at running back. So obviously there's a plan not to play Zeke very much. That's kind of how I feel like that's gonna go. We can beat Seattle with wide receiver bubble screen, screen plays, and moving the pocket. There you go. Got a game plan. <laughs> Got a game plan. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're off. The Rams, the Rams are off. Yeah, they're off. They miss Cooper Cup. He's a big-time player for them. Yeah. Which tight end took the most snaps in practice today? Bahrain? Is that in Saudi Arabia? I don't know. Because they run a race there. They run a Formula One race in Bahrain. Uh, if it is, Welcome. Uh, who, who took the? It was go back. Give me the question. I, gosh, I'm fascinated by Bahrain. Which side <laughs> took the uh, snatch practice? Okay, yeah, it, it, it was a normal group of guys. It, it, when they go 12 personnel, it's going to be uh, Schultz and Jarwin, and when they go 13 personnel, that's when they bring Rico in. So anyway, yeah, that's 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 that, they ran they ran some 12 personnel stuff today and 13 personnel stuff as well. So. Rico come up in the playoffs. We'll see. Maybe so. Um, obviously, this this might be a good opportunity for them to kind of play around with him this this uh, upcoming weekend. Best way to beat Russell Wilson. Best way to beat Russell Wilson is to make him play backwards. And when I mean play backwards, Ambar, like don't let him step forward in the pocket. Don't let him attack the line of scrimmage. Don't yeah. let him have a vision to move forward. When you make him play backwards, it's much like what they did with, with Drew Brees. Shorter quarterbacks, make them look over the top of the line, make them go back. Rod Marino always talks about building a well, making the quarterback throw from a well. And it, you build a well around him. Don't get too far up the field, kind of stay and then squeeze him. But make him play backwards. That's the way... I think that you, that you play. Build a well Build and a well. squeeze them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's that technique. It works. <laughs> They've done it before. It's worked. Austin's going to play this week, yes. Uh, Dag needs to roll out more and make things happen. Do you yeah, agree, I think you'll Ryan? see. I think you'll see some. I think you'll see. Now, he rolled out to his left. He rolled out to his left in that Colts game and threw the ball 18 miles over the top of, of uh, uh, Cooper. You know, uh, Amari Cooper in that game, if you remember, it was a bootleg to the left and yeah. he threw it. And, you know, so he's been using pretty good. He's been using pretty good at throwing the football on the move. That one was really, really bad on his part, though. Yeah. I've seen a few people asking about Mike White. And as of today, we all we just saw Dak taking all the reps. Yeah. Now, obviously, it is like, obviously, Cooper Rush is going to be active. Yeah. So he's probably going to step in. But now, do the Cowboys keep. Mike White, do they make him active to kind of? Yeah, that's that's a use that's him. A, I don't no, know. no, that's a good question because depending now, if you if you that's had three quarterbacks, yeah, if you had active. if you had no plan on playing Dak, which would probably be the right plan, yeah, then you make him the third quarterback and make him inactive, right? right. But I haven't, like I say, we'll see tomorrow if Cooper Rush gets any reps. But as of today, he did not get any reps. As far as Crawford, uh, around. He's, seems yeah. to be okay. Yeah. Thank you. locker room today? Yeah. I did not see him in the locker room today, but from what I hear, yeah. it seems to be okay. It was more of a scary thing rather than it being an actual major injury. Trauma, yeah. Yeah, it, it was not good. It was not a, a good look there. It was no. kind of scary, but yeah. but yeah, he seems to be doing fine. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Williams. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we find one last question. Yeah. Duh. Why is Gallup not using jump ball throws at the goal line with his sleeping ability? Yeah. You know, it was good to see him get the – it's funny because Todd Archer was questioning today about uh, – asked Garrett about why would you throw a jump ball to – to Noah Brown. I mean, Noah yeah. Brown has three catches, and you know, and uh, Garrett was basically saying, well, he had other options. You know, they had the tight end, they had the route on the other side, they had all these things, so he just decided to go that way. But it was nice to see on the next play, though, Michael Gallup 
I mean, he, he did a great job. It was a really yeah. nice route on his part. And then you're right. He's got some really, really good leaping ability. So uh, I think you'll see. I think that, you know, get this year in the book for Michael Gallup. And then next year, I think Michael Gallup will be even a better player. I think this wide receiver court here next year is going to be really good. Uh, don't forget about the kid, it's Cedric Wilson. Yeah, the Cedric Wilson kid that went on injured reserve. He's, I forgot about him. Yeah, him. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, know you did. Yeah, yeah, no, they're going to have four. I mean, they might lose Cole Beasley. I know someone was asking about Yeah, Cole yeah, that's another thing. You know, maybe if you lose Cole Beasley, that's tough. I mean, that, that's tough. That's a, that's, a, that's a hard thing to have to deal with. But maybe somebody will see something and – and maybe Cole Beasley's had enough. You know, maybe he'll want to move on himself. You never know. We'll, we'll yeah. see. They've got a lot of guys they got to kind of take care of. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Um, we don't care about your game day prediction. We don't care about your go gut feeling this weekend, Brian. <laughs> no need for it. But are you writing one? Oh yeah, I'm always writing one. <laughs> see who's gonna play. If, if I pick the game right, <laughs> if I pick the game right this week, you know my. Who are you picking? Oh, I might pick the Giants. You're picking the Giants. I, 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 need, I need to see who I was playing. I need to see who I was playing. No, uh, I don't know. I think that to me, uh, my record—if I, if I pick it right, it'd be twelve and four. Ooh, twelve and four. Professional. <laughs> Professional. Yeah. You know how to do your job, apparently. I do. Sometimes. I, I, sometimes I don't. <laughs> no, but um. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. I appreciate you reading it. See, some people got your support. Thank you, I Molly. won't read it, but... Molly, I'll dance at your wedding. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, make sure to keep visiting Dallas Cowboys. What's your com? stuff on, uh, for some of on the, on the breakdown stuff? That's some good. of the stuff. Uh, the breakdown you're going to do. With the, I broke down some players. Janoris Jenkins. Yeah. You did yeah, good. You did some good, good stuff. I, good. I would say not to be cocky or anything, but... Today, I kind of did better than Brian. You did. <laughs> no question. I did better. No question. No. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. And playoff make edition sure next week, right? The playoff edition. Playoff edition. Next week yeah. will be the real, real playoff edition. And, yeah, make sure to check out DallasCowboys.com. They'll be putting out the stuff. And then by then, by Friday, we should know. Yeah. Who's gonna be playing? Yeah, who's keep, not. yeah, we'll write about that stuff. And my final thoughts too on Friday. That'll kind of read through that. That'll help you a little bit as well. <laughs> yeah. mm. uh, not wrong. Uh, Brian Brown is legend. Only Debatable. Be, only because of you. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. Where, where is your Super Bowl ring that you like showing off? I'm not he, wearing he, it today. He doesn't wear it anymore. He keeps it hidden. Surprise. It reminds me of one one time in my life. <laughs> but. Uh, Besos, besos, Thanks, adios. guys. Ciao. Happy Thank holidays. We so passed ho the holidays. Oh, no, it's in happy holidays. We said happy holidays. Oh, we did, we did, we did. oh, from Greece. Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys. Really do. We need to get some gyros. How do you say it? Gyros. Gyros. There's a great Greek restaurant right around the corner here from the star. I'll take you to lunch here. <laughs> we <day>. need some. <laughs> bueno, besos, besos. Bye, guys. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.